Hello to my friends. Uh, welcome to my kitchen sink. Today we're going to do a science experiment that is going to take your grown-ups or your, if you have any, silver jewelry or I have a silver tea set and it's going to make what is tarnished. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to pull this up. This is tarnished silver, and then I have a silver ring. See how bright and shiny that ring is? Hmm. Hopefully you can see the difference. Um, but I'm going to clean the silver with a, an electrochemical reaction, which is a really, really big and exciting kind of a science experiment. So we're not going to rub the silver to get it untarnished. Here's a very tarnished piece of silver. We're going to just place it flat on a piece of tin foil. I'm going to put my jewelry in here on the tin foil. Everybody have tin foil at home. We use it to wrap things up sometimes. So I'm going to put all my pieces of jewelry that have been, that are darkened. That's from the air. There's something called sulfur dioxide in the air and it accumulates it. it um, sorry, that's a big word too. <laughs> it sort of sits on top of the silver and it turns the silver into a darker color. So putting all of my jewelry in here that I want to polish. So what's going to happen is that hopefully the experiment will work and all of the parts of my silver that are very dark will be shiny and bright again. And your grown-ups might have jewelry that they would like you to help them to clean. So if your grown-ups have a piece of silver jewelry, they can do this experiment with you. So now I'm gonna just hold the, hold the camera over here and show you all of my pieces are in here in this little bowl, ready to be polished. So what you're going to need for this experiment is the tin foil, baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, and boiling water. So this is a grown up part of the experiment. Kids can add the baking soda, but grown ups add the boiling water. And I'm doing this inside of my sink so that I don't make a mess on my uh, floor or on my table if the water bubbles up and goes over the sides of the tin. I'm going to pour the water. I have to cover up all of my pieces of silver with the water. Next, we're going to add the baking soda. I don't think there's a precise measurement for the baking soda. It's something around a quarter cup to a gallon of water. So I don't have nearly a gallon of water in here. Now let's add the baking soda and watch the electrochemical response. Now we can see, I brought it up into the light, we can see that some of the pieces are getting much, much brighter. Now I'm going to try with my tea set. Okay, so what I learned from the first try of this experiment is that the silver has to be touching the tin foil. You pour the water in first, and that's the grown-up's job. And then you can pour in some scoops of baking soda and watch what happens. It does take a little bit of time. 
and then when you pull the pieces out when the water's cooled down you need to just rub them off with a nice clean cloth and then you'll see that your pieces are really shiny it's pretty cool so right now I'm going to um, clean this piece of my tea set so let's do it I've got the water boiled I'm going to pour the water into the pan so that it covers up my tea set. Hopefully there's enough water. Not enough water, let's take a break. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna pour the rest of this water to cover up my um, sugar bowl. Ooh, starting to float. <laughs> Cover that sugar bowl. And then, it's not quite covered, but I think we're just going to go with it. We're going to pour in, this is your job, Wildflower North kids. We're going to pour in the baking soda. Whoa, fizzy, 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 fizzy. And we'll give it a couple of minutes. Now you might notice there's an interesting smell. It kind of smells like a weird rotten egg. That's called sulfur. And that is what this experiment is cleaning off of your silver. So that sulfur is actually going up into the air in the steam particles. Steam is what's coming up from the hot, hot water. Okay, I'm ready to take it out. Let's see what happens. I've got a clean rag and I'm just gonna wipe the silver a little bit and wow that is so much brighter than it was before that's a really fun experiment and a nice way to help your grown-ups clean up their jewelry or special silver pieces maybe a candlestick holder or something special that you have in an heirloom case. Okay, now I'm just gonna wipe down the, the rest of this. Wow, and it's so bright and shiny. Pretty cool experiment, my friends. So if you decide to do this experiment at home, make sure that you send us a little video or maybe a before and after picture of the silver that you give a cleaning to. So thanks for doing some science with me today, friends. Have a wonderful day.